Go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right. SureDog.com. I'm here with Pedro Munoz, who is taking on Cody Garbrandt Saturday night at UFC 235. So, Pedro, you've been on a sneaky good run in the UFC. What did it feel like to get that call that you're, you're getting such a big name for your next test? Amazing. 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 You know, very grateful about that. That was the fight that I was expecting. That was the fight that we, we wanted to fight. And it was great just at their, you know, their team, their manager. You know, requested for this fight, and at the same time, that was the fight that I was, you know, wanted to fight a former champ, Cody Gabrin. And I always like to test myself with the best in the game, and now that's a perfect timing to do that Saturday night. Well, one one uh, stark contrast to what we're used to seeing in fight buildups lately, just the the friendly back and forth between you two. When prompted, you couldn't even say one bad thing about each other. Uh, where, is there is there a history there, or I know you two have shared a card before. Uh, Two twenty seven is the one that comes to mind. Any backstage interactions or anything that kind of led to that sort of friendliness? That was exactly what happened. You know, uh, his manager. Uh, it's you know I know him from from back in those days that I when I used to live in LA you know I used to train in the gym that he had a lot of fighters there and we shared the same locker room we spoke a little bit he seemed like a cool guy I am not the type of trash talk you know I respect always my opponents and yeah so I literally had anything bad to say about him. <laughs> So uh, the fight itself, uh, style-wise, should be a very interesting matchup. W what do you see in your favor? Like, what, what skill sets do you think you can exploit against Cody, and what, what weaknesses do you see in him? Believe that um, I never been knocked out, not even drop in training. I believe that, like health-wise, um, I can't take more damage than him in this time of our uh, this time. Um, he believes in his boxing, which you know is good. But I also have like a good, like a background in boxing. You know, for two fights, two fights ago against Bre uh, the fight that I did, uh, the fight that I had against Brad Jones, I was able to to spar for the whole camp against Brazil uh, gold Olympic medalist. You know, that was the only guy that was able to beat uh, Vasily Lomachenko, and we're. You know, training him a lot. I did some amateur boxing back in those days in Brazil. You know, which is now it's not a lot of people know that. But if you see all my fights, I you know I stay in standing. I feel I feel very comfortable staying right there, exchanging be toe to toe. And this time is gonna be a little bit different. We did some adjustments uh, in the way of fighting. We saw we were studying like you know all his fights. Uh, we saw some of the holes he has on his game. We're gonna be able to, you know, to capitalize that and use, and try to get and, and get that finish this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Well, this is also a very interesting time in your division. Uh, Bantamweight is kind of rife with talent now, a lot of chaos. Uh, where, where is your opinion about the intertwining with the flyweight division, the super fights, uh, just kind of the, the questions in the air as to what happens next with that belt? To be, to be true, I don't, I don't even know if this is going to be a fact or not, if they're going to like, you know, going to end up the, the flyweight division. So I, I, I don't know that. So a lot of people has been saying about that. But uh, I don't know if it's that true or not. I really think that, in my point of view, they have a great fighters in the flyweight division. You know, if they're gonna go to bantamweight, I don't think they're gonna be able to do well there, uh, body-wise and strength, thing like that. I really think that it's, you know that's the division that you will see should keep it. Great fighters there, you know. And now we have the new champion, Nehi Cejudo. You know, just beat T.J. Dillashaw was like a bantamweight champion. I, uh, you know, it's, they has a, they have a, like a lot of interest fighters, a lot of interest fights. I think they should have like kept that division. So you are, you know, you can't be too far from a title shot, especially a win over a former champion in Cody Garbrandt. How many fights do you think you are away from getting that that call to to headline a title fight? If I get like a good like. If I get it like a statement Saturday night, knock him out or submit him, I think that's the fight we needed to prove that I can fight for the title next. All right, well, Pedro, thank you for your time and good luck to you Saturday. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you.